Hi, let's do some puzzles together. Hmm, this position, I can take the bishop, no. I can give a check, no. Wow, what a position. I can give a check with the bishop, actually. If it takes, I take the bishop with the... Uh, I take the queen with the queen and then take the bishop. But then, after all, I don't have any advantage. I'm down a... Oh, oh, I can say check with the bishop and then check with the rook. Yes, okay. Finally, one easy puzzle. One easy puzzle. Mm -hmm. If I take the pawn with check, uh, with, with rook, sorry. If I take the pawn with rook, the danger I'm in. Uh, exposing uh, I, the danger for my opponent is that I'm attacking his queen and then has to take my rook back. I take the I take again with the rook. Uh, still, I'm attacking his queen, but then queen goes to h6, for example, because I was thinking if I have one rook on f7. I can bring the queen on g7 and deliver mate. But uh, apparently it's not that easy to do so. What else can I do? I wish his queen wasn't on this uh, square f f4. Because couldn't take care of h6. Okay, what to do then? Mm -hmm. Taking the pawn, attacking the queen. Takes with the rock, rook. I take back with the rook, attacking queen again. Queen stays in the same diagonal, for example. It goes to, for example, g5. It can even give a check and then... No, it cannot give a check. It can go to g5, for example. Then what can I do here after it goes to g5? So something uh, my instinct says is that if the queen has many places to go, g5, h6, uh, the only place maybe it is not good for the queen to go is uh, e3 and yeah, e3 is bad. Because I can push my f-pawn and block his queen's uh, Visibility to my mm, the, to the h6 square, and then later I bring my queen to g7. But it's still, g5 and h6 are available moves. And main thing says that if there are multiple places that the queen can go, then maybe I'm doing something wrong. Right, I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, beautiful. I found a beautiful mm, continuation. I take the pawn, attack the queen. Takes with the rook for sure. If it doesn't take, I just uh, finish the game. Yeah, let's do it. This is the first one. And no, I take with the pawn. I take with the pawn and we check and it... Uh, it cannot take with the queen because I take the queen with the rook. It moves the king away. The only way he can move the king is to go to h7. But, oh, it took the... Okay, I, I didn't need to discuss. If it was going to... I want to say what was happening here. Like, after this, this... No, oh, no, 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 not this one. If it goes there, then this is a check, double check. And cannot do anything but block it no it's a check with the rook sorry discovery check and then we win we can even make a beautiful mate like that yeah first one to take and open the uh, rank open the uh, second uh, seventh rank for my rook and then second one to whoa this is just uh isn't this just 
push the pawn, attack the queen and the rook, and and the knight and win one of them. But suppose I win, I win one of them. Then what is the situation? The situation is good. So I can push the pawn. It's one option. And I can take the queen first and then push the pawn. This is the second option. And the only danger I see from my opponent's side is bishop b2. Let's say I first push the pawn. Then bishop b2 check. Mm, I just move the king. And I don't see anything. Another option is that I will push the pawn, then place knight g5. Knight g5 attacking my queen. This is a little bit bad because then I attack his rook by playing queen queen e5 for example and at this position and this position retreats the queen maybe or maybe not mm. what's the difference i mean both of them wins a piece and i don't see any difference between them so let's take the queen first Imagine we take the queen first. Does it take first gives us a check with the bishop? And we move the king to g uh, six. Then, then what? Then says check with the knight. If says check, I take with the bishop. If takes my queen um, my queen took his queen so it if it takes my queen I take his knight what's wrong here so taking queen first works pushing the pawn first also works let's do it again pushing the pawn forking both queen and the knight ah the difference is that he just plays queen h3 and we cannot take the knight because our queen is pinned so i push the pawn he even could first say check yes says check yeah so i first should take this and then push this and this check is uh, okay and there is nothing special with it so let me show what was wrong with the pushing the pawn first pushing the pawn first first gives this check i will go no this check is not to mate me this check is to bring his rook uh into play his uh, a rook into play to be able to defend the back rank and then Mm, then I, oh I was thinking about queen goes there, but this apparently is not working. Why? Mm, I have no idea. Ah, uh, because finally I so uh, somehow luckily I uh, found the good continuation. So we give a check. King goes away. We want to do what? What's the plan here? The plan here is to go behind the pawn and win it. No, going behind the pawn is very slow. I should hunt the king. If you say check, king goes away. Ooh, I see beautiful way of hunting the king. We go rook uh, d3. There is no way to attack our rook, no same way at least. We go rook d3 because one pawn push is made if uh, we block the third rank. Rook d3 then push the pawn for example then I have to defend the f pawn 
So I play. No, it's not good. I saw the board. Yeah. Okay, I go look D3 and then push the pawn, for example. Then I give a check with the pawn and takes my F pawn. And then I play knight d6, attacking his rook and the king. Takes my other pawn, I take his rook, and I start march my pawns. And he has to... Uh, I attack his pawn, and then he has to defend the pawn. Then I start my march my points, pawn, and yeah, he has to defend it. So let's do it. Oh. He prevents it. But anyways, I push. And give this check and win this rook. But, okay. Good. Good, we got some points. But one thing I was wondering was that why he tries to prevent it. Why, for example, he doesn't say that, okay, I push. I check, takes, 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 takes. Because in this position, after he takes, ah, I was thinking in this position, after he takes, he at least has a knight in the position that we saw in the game, in the puzzle. He didn't have anything at the end. Like, after this moves, uh, he has no knight, nothing. And he cannot simply push the pawn because my knight blocks the c7. So, not a bad run. See you next time.